83 degrees. We're partly cloudy right now. The calm before the storm, as it were. But a lot of folks are going to be asking this question over the next couple of days, so I definitely want to hammer it out. Which part of the hurricane is the worst? It's a big circle. You can break it down in the four quadrants. You, of course, learned about this when you took math class back in high school. The four quadrants, one, two, three, four. Now, this is as we're going forward. So as it approaches the coast, the upper right, the front right, that's where you get the maximum hurricane impact. We're not so much going to be in that quadrant here in San Antonio, but the immediate Texas coast definitely will. You go to the left side of it, that's where you get that significant storm surge. So Corpus up to Rockport, Port A, and Port Lavaca, they're going to have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about that as well. Back right, and that's where you're going to find the significant winds. Here, we're going to see tropical storm force winds, but we should be spared from the hurricane winds. And on the back left, which is the weakest side of the storm, we'll be on that side for a tiny bit, but it can also be a dangerous side. There can be a lot of rotation, and we are definitely expecting quite a bit of rain, and that's going to be the main concern here. As you go out to the coast, storm surge and winds, that's the big idea there. But as you go further inland, that's where we're going to see that bigger threat. This storm not only continues to strengthen and gather, but now it's taking up even more real estate. It's looking to me more and more like Ike, which by the way, I mentioned Hurricane Ike because that goes back to 2008. Live in the Houston Galveston area. No doubt you've heard about that and you remember it. 2008 was the last time that Texas and the coast had a hurricane make landfall. And this looks to be just as strong, if not stronger, stronger than Ike. You can